So you watched my pre-workout routine. You watched how I set up the gym. Perfect place for everything and everything in its place. And now I'm gonna show you what an actual workout looks like. I'm gonna do a deadlift workout today. I'm gonna to do this for those of you who train at home without a training partner. As many of you know, I get to train with my wife. So we actually get to load the weights on each side together or whatnot. But for today, we're just gonna turn the camera on, not cut it. I want you to see how long rest period should be. I'm gonna work up, I'll hit somewhere in the ballpark of maybe 425 for a triple, something like that, nothing too heavy. But I want you to see what my jumps are, how long my rest is between sets, and how I utilize training aids from a belt to wrist straps, at some point probably some nose torque. I'll take the shoes off, I'll go double overhand for some, and I'll try to explain what I'm doing with each set. I'll do this a lot of times with deadlift to give myself a little bit of extra for every progressive set. So I've got 135 loaded on the bar. We're just gonna set a timer. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna pull up my Apple Watch. I'm gonna turn on my workout. And at the end, we'll show how long the entire thing took. So we are starting right now, three, two, one. I'm not gonna specifically go fast. I'm gonna go normal, which means that during the rest periods, we'll probably speed this up, but we're not gonna cut the camera, All right? Here we go. So I'm gonna start with 135. I'm gonna do probably a set of five or so here just to warm up. I'm a little bit warmed up already again because I've been squatting so my lower body's warmed up, but my back is not. So I'll set up, pull for a set of five with my shoes on. I'm good. Check this up. I'm going to add a plate. I do have collars on. I don't always do that. But since most of you probably should, I did. 225 on here. All right, here we go. Pull this for a triple. back up. Our rate's at 110. We're at 156, 157, about two minutes in. As soon as I get done with my set, I immediately want to load weight on the bar so that if I need to take any time to rest, it comes after me loading the weight. Heart rate has come on up to 116. I'm going to pull my shoes off and jump right in to the next set. And I like to pull my shoes off as I get heavy so that I get a little closer to the floor. Pull the knee sleeves off. <sighs> Give it about 10 seconds. We're at three minutes. Our rate's back down to 100. And here we go. We'll do a single. I'm going to straighten out the bar. <clears throat> here we go. <sighs> Looking for speed here. Good, clean setup. Still double overhand, no hook. Good on the single, jack the bar up, go to 405. And now we'll start to rest just a little bit longer. Okay, sit down for just a minute. You got 405 on the bar. I'm four minutes and 18 seconds in. On, this, on the deadlift. This is my last warm up before my work set. So I'll give it just a minute. At this point, I'm gonna probably go ahead and put on straps. No, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put a belt on, but not put on straps. I'm gonna try to double overhand this. I like using the deadlift as a grip exercise as well as a back exercise. And so we'll deadlift this, hopefully, double overhand grip. I've done quite a bit of work today already. My grip's a little bit tired. I think I can pull this double overhand. I know that when I pull it double overhand, even with a belt, it's gonna be a little bit slower because it's gonna to wanna to be opening up my hands. I'm really gonna to have to take an extra second or two 
to squeeze the bar off of the floor, but then I've saved straps and nose torque for the final set. So I have two things to give myself as a training aid going into the final set. So here we go. We're at five minutes in, just over five minutes in. We're at 4.05. We're going to put on a belt. This is just a Dominion three inch belt. I'm not gonna cinch it as tight as I could possibly cinch it. I'm gonna about there. And again, the goal here, double overhand. I'm not even gonna put on more chalk. <sighs> goal is a single, nice and smooth, double overhand, and then rest for the last set. No problem on the grip and down. And now I've set myself up for success for the last set. Can rest for a minute. And turn on some music. Alexa, play Bleeding Me by Metallica. All right, I'll sit down and rest for a second. And I'll add all the training aids for this last set. Seven and a half minutes, in about eight, in about 30 seconds, we'll go. Heart rate's at 105 should come on down to about 100. Okay. All right, here we go. Should be a nice smooth triple here. And that's it, 9.03. Nine minutes start to finish. That's the deadlift workout. Pretty happy with this. So, Alexa, stop. You don't have to take forever. You can spend most of your time in the early sets, loading weight, lifting weight. As it gets a little later, you can take that extra two to three minutes of rest, working up to your heavy set, and you're done. There's no reason you can't do a typical deadlift workout that has one top set, it shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes. So there's a nine minute workout, start to finish. Now you've seen my pre-workout pre routine. Woo, let's do it again. Now you've seen my pre-workout routine, you've seen the organization of my gym, and you've seen what it looks like to go through a standard deadlift workout with me and Matt Reynolds. For more great tips on working out, time efficiency, great equipment, Check out the playlist right up here.